they are projecting that by 2030, 45% of women from the ages of 25 to 44 are going to be single. And then right now in the UK, 50.1% of women are childless by age 30. So I just think that it's gonna be hard for a lot of us out here to get married these days. And I think on top of that, if you're not married by age 30 as a woman, it's really unlikely that you would get married. And I do understand that there are, um, they're called like the promiscuous 10%. So basically there's people at sociosexual extremes that just like to smash and pass, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and they're good and they're content and they're happy. But the majority of women, the majority of people are not that way. And more specifically, the majority of women are long-term mating strategists, which means I would say that probably most of you, the men that you choose to sleep with um, outside of like work, um, the men that you choose to sleep with, you probably, you would probably be more open to dating them, right? So. I just find a lot of our methods these days that women are using to secure men that they want and are attracted to, they really fall flat, like they don't really work is what I'm seeing. So, and it's just like hard stuff to dig through. But those are my thoughts so far. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you think that if a woman isn't married by the time she's 30, that it's unlikely that she will? No, it's not that I think that. Like, that's what the statistics show. That's what the statistics show. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, you can be an exception to the rule, right? Um, that it would just requires being able to move around the norm. That's kind of how that goes. Because to be frank, like most men are sexless and well, most men are in relationships either. So if you guys wanted to, you probably could get married to tomorrow to like just some, some guy, but it's like, are you going to be attracted to him? That's a different question because I have a YouTube channel where I try to help women to get married and stay married. And honestly, like, I think it's a huge issue to where women often compromise on having an attractive man for having a stable man because he's a good boy, he follows the rules, he pays the bills. But then I get a lot of DMs about infidelity in marriage too. Infidelity is pretty rampant in marriage, so that's why I try to promote to women to try to um, use their, I guess, like your looks, like while you're still hot and sexy, to try to get like that top guy that's gonna do right by you. Mm -hmm. Was that an audible sip? Okay. Um, <laughs> my, sorry, Brian. I would have my, timed it different. My bad. Oh, no worries. Know. No worries. No worries. Um, by the way, Andrew, thank you for the uh, 20 uh, gifted. Um, so, and remind me what your name is again? Raisha. Raisha. Um, Ali, I mean, you kind of heard kind of something like, do you have any thoughts on mm -hmm. her situation? I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Because it's like, you want to get married, but then... There's, there's problems with that, right? Like with, with habits. So are you guys like familiar with pair bonding at all? You guys, you're, you are, are you? No? Um, so like I said, there's like the, the promiscuous 10%, just people like to smash and pass. But you said that you wanna get married one day. But w in order to, I guess, get married and stay married, the two things that I've seen is to not stress each other out in arguments, meaning you raise blood pressure, you raise heart rate, um, what else? I mean, just like basically pissing each other off. Mm -hmm. So if you aren't doing that, that's good to stay married. And then on top of that, having regular sex. But like if you stimulate habits that are only helpful for, um, what is it, instant gratification when it comes to sex, it's gonna be hard when you have that one single guy to create a positive feedback loop of oxytocin and vasopressin. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll explain that in a second, but you said that you get attached really quick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's normal, yeah, you know? Unfortunately. No, 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 like that's completely normal as a woman. So we, we um, release a lot of oxytocin and that's a love hormone when we have sex with men. Um, we also do this after we give birth too, so it's really cute. And then men re, um, release a lot more vasopressin. So it's like, if you're constantly engaging in short term um, I guess like, well, I, I can say oh, sex here. Just unicorn things donated $100. Can you boost the audio? Ryan, your eyes are dreamy and I want to drown in them. With that voice, sexy AF, I could mm -hmm. listen to you talk all night long. Even <laughs> muted, you sound great. You should do audiobooks. Any topic will do. You'd make a killing. Yo, unicorn, thank you for the big $100 soup chat and thank you for the... Uh, for the f for f the flattery and the uh, endorsement, um, much appreciated. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Continue, Allie. Um, yeah, no, it just makes it harder to stay faithful, you know. And I think like one of the reasons why I think I'm married today and how I'm very confident to come out and talk about my marriage because if I thought my marriage was gonna like end overnight, I'd be really embarrassed talking about it online. But like my husband is the best sex I've ever had in my life. 
you know? And so it's like I get to have that whenever I want at a moment's notice, but if I had kind of been around the block more, then I might have already had the best sex of my life. And that's like a heavy thing for a woman to carry psychologically if you're in a relationship with a man and you're like, well, that guy hit it better. You know what I mean? So it's like, but the more men that you sleep with, the more likely that is to occur. Whereas like if you just kind of take the more monogamous route of kind of like what you're doing right now in college, then you have more of an opportunity to be sexually impressed by a man. You know what I mean? So it's just like getting into more positive habits that support monogamy. Because like the college life ends one day. You know, it sounds, it's weird. Like you're in college, you think this is like your world, and then you forget that there's a whole other, you know, globe, country, planet out there. So um, to prepare ourselves for that once we graduate too. Mm -hmm. Anybody have a response? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like now it's like oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it's like so normalized now. Like if you're like not hooking up with someone, then what are you doing? Like that's just what mm -hmm. I, d I don't know. I just what I feel like everybody in college is like now thinking. You're like mm -hmm. haram.